It turns out humans aren't the only ones waging wars, just the only ones who do so knowingly. From the literal most massive war to the longest in history, it's all right here. Here are 15 animals that hate each other. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Number 15. Russell's Viper and Saltwater Crocodile There's no mistaking the power and lethality a croc and a viper pose, with the massive vice-like chomp of the croc to the deadly venom present in the viper. It's best to leave these two monsters alone if you come across either in the wild. What happens when a saltwater croc and Russia's viper go head to head? A spectacle, that's what. A Russell snake is the deadliest snake in Sri Lanka, and with the longest fangs to boot, the viper is extremely venomous, but the Russell that challenged the croc in this video was no ordinary sized viper. It was massive and probably thought it stood a pretty good chance against the gator, considering it was smaller in size. What took place is a rare and magnificent battle for the ages, according to the photographer, and lasted for nearly 15 minutes. Once the snake is snapped between the powerful jaws of the gator, the real show begins. The gator and snake thrash about in the water in a vicious fight to the death. Luckily for us, someone was there with a high-speed camera to catch all the action. This once-in-a-lifetime battle is immortalized on the internet, and we get to share the splendor with you. In the end, the gator emerged victoriously and chowed down on the enormous snake. Don't worry though, we got plenty more fights for you all to see. Number 14. The Largest War in History A long time ago, an ant made its way from piranha to New Orleans. This may seem insignificant, but for this new ant, it found a land wrought with opportunity. Humans and ants actually have similar warring tendencies. By sheer numbers, it is the most massive war in history and still wages to this day. Something changed within the species when the honey ant migrated to the United States. Instead of forming multiple rival colonies, the humile ant instead built a giant army. Whenever another honey ant enters the scene, it's taken in fed and allowed into the colony as part of their own, another sister in arms against what seems like it could be an eternal war between ant species. Ants can be brutal in their battles. If a rival colony is discovered, the humile ant forms a raiding party. Their attack is swift and deadly. The newly forming colony is no match to massive numbers and aggression. Eggs, larvae, pupa, workers, and the queen are pulled from their intricate tunnels and into the sunlight, where an army awaits to carry all resources to their own colony. As their numbers grow, they've become more and more aggressive. It goes to show how crazy our world is, that a massive war has been waging for years right beneath your feet. Number 13. Honey Badger and the Lion Lions, as you know, are alpha predators. They're rarely hunted by other animals. More lions are killed or hunted by human hands. There's a reason he's called the king of the jungle. The honey badger, however, is no pushover either, as you can see in this video. The badger doesn't take off running once the prowling lion approaches it. Instead, it squares up and faces off. Even with its overwhelming size, the lion isn't as quick to kill as it might with another. By comparison, the badger isn't taking the crap from the lion without a fight and letting him know he's not afraid. In the end, the lion shepherds the honey badger off its prowling grounds. Now, I'm sure you know what lions eat, but what about honey badgers? They're vicious snake hunters and have a unique ability that allows them to be bitten even by a venomous snake without causing death. Instead, the honey badger takes a nap with its fresh snake kill in its mouth, and the venom dissipates from its body. It's a good thing the honey badger wasn't taking that nap when the lion approached. It would have been much easier to kill. We wouldn't have awesome footage like this to share with you had it been that easy for the lion, <laughs> don't you think? Number 12. Sperm Whales and Giant Squid Giant squids are a rare sighting. The giant squid recently jumped back onto human radars as it swam past an oil tanker's underwater camera. The battle between the sperm whale and the squid has been waging for quite a while. With the massive size of the sperm whale, even the giant squid was on the menu. That doesn't mean the squid is a leisurely lunch. Where this has been on display in museums, paintings, and ancient civilizations, modern-day humans have yet to witness such a fascinating tale. That is, until now. 
The photo shows a sperm whale with a squid hanging from its mouth. It was determined a giant squid because, compared to the sperm whale, an average squid would have been eaten easier and its mass wouldn't be so large outside its mouth. The squid is actually enormous. It just is dwarfed by the massive whale. I mean, a giant squid can reach lengths of up to 60 feet. Many squids never make it to adulthood, being consumed by many predators. The role is reversed if the squid makes it to adulthood but still can't match that of a sperm whale. Evidence of suction marks on a sperm whale's skin is evidence of these fights ensuing in the deepest depths of the oceans. Number 11. The Gombe Chimpanzee War Chimps are extremely intelligent and powerful. They, like humans, also don't always get along. Territorial warfare is commonplace in the jungle. Chimps, being as strong and smart as they are, are efficient, brutal fighters. They can even use weapons like sticks and stones to break some bones. The science community has been increasingly alarmed at the rate at which chimps are waging war for territory. Some even call it the rise of the warrior apes. Planet of the apes, anyone? It wasn't easy learning about these battles. The chimps are incredibly aggressive, especially towards humans. Catching photos and footage for study proved extremely difficult. It took nearly 23 years to bring the story to light and understand these violent tendencies in the chimps. They're taking territory and waging war for sport. However, they're building a large chimp society, the largest ever discovered on planet Earth. Up to 142 chimps have been found living together, moving together, and growing together. Number 10. The Mantis Shrimp vs. Disco Clam I'm going to be honest, the mantis shrimp scares the heck out of me. It should to you too. Despite being less than 6 inches long, the mantis shrimp is one of the hardest hitting creatures on the planet. And that's putting it lightly. Some call the shrimp the boxer of the sea, and you'll soon understand why. What makes them so different from their skimpy cousin, you might notice, is the addition of club-like appendages called dactyls. They're used to pounce their prey or punch through hard shells. These appendages are anything but ordinary. They can spring from a mantis shrimp's body at 50 miles per hour. That's faster than a 22 caliber bullet. When the mantis punches, it strikes with 160 pounds of force. That's enough to even kill a human. That means that pound for pound, the mantis shrimp packs the world's most forceful punch. With the disco clamp, the mantis shrimp may have finally met its match. Not by having a hard enough shell to block the wicked punch from the mantis shrimp, but because of the brightly colored shells they exhibit. The colors warn of poison, so the mantis shrimp avoids them almost entirely. If a mantis comes across a regular clam and a disco, it'll start whacking at the shell of the other clam until it cracks open, revealing the spoils inside. Number 9. Orca and the Great White Shark In the ocean, the Great White Shark and the Orca, nicknamed Killer Whale, are top dogs on the food chain. Can you take a guess at which you think would win in a fight? If you guessed the orca, you're probably right. A new study shows orcas are even more formidable than first suspected. To test that theory, they lured sharks to the researcher's boat, then tagged a bunch of sharks to keep track of their movements. That's when they started to notice some strange behavior from the sharks. As usual, the tagged white sharks were feeding on seals for months, as they often do during certain parts of the year. Later that same year, some orcas arrived to join in on the party. All 17 sharks disappeared within the next 8 hours. The orcas had come and bullied them out. Apparently, the orcas just figured this out. Since then, even great whites have been showing up dead on beaches across the world. Needless to say, the great white learns something too. Don't get too close to a hungry orca. The orcas aren't killing and feeding on the sharks, just moving them out of their territory. A hostile takeover, so to speak. Number 8. Meerkat War Dance Meerkats aren't all cute and cuddly. Threaten one and you get the whole clan. The best part? They put on quite a show with their wicked war dance. The combined display of force usually deters most predators, but not all. The dance typically involves an erect tail and puffed out fur, an attempt at making the mob appear much more substantial. Meerkats are incredibly territorial. Though the dance is used in fending off predators, it's also used in meerkat territorial warfare. This is funny when you think about it because the same species is trying to fool the same species into thinking there are more of them. Just join the same team, guys. There's a common enemy out there that could care less whether or not you boogie right before a fight. 
they'd probably think should have made the gang bigger to begin with. Maybe meerkats appreciated the dance a little too much. Number 7. Asian Giant Hornet vs. Honeybee Ever heard of the murder hornet that just started invading the US recently? If you haven't, let me tell you a story. Japanese honeybees have been at war with the murder hornet for millions of years, and the hornet has an appetite for bee larvae. With a 2-inch long body and a 3-inch wingspan, the hornet is a monster of the insect world. It dwarfs the honeybees by comparison. A few murder hornets in a hive could decimate a colony. Our bees are already critically endangered. Thanks to some good old-fashioned evolution, the honeybees have developed a fascinating new defense against this ferocious predator. When a hornet gets a taste for bee larvae and takes a swing by his nearest beehive, the bees jump it and form a tight ball around it. They then all start vibrating their wings, and it generates excellent heat. Bees and hornets breathe carbon dioxide. With all those bees breathing all that dioxide in combination with the intense heat, the hornet suffocates in less than an hour. Throw on some more bees and that process is amplified. Honeybees are fascinating and extremely intelligent. Get this, while researchers were observing the bees, they were reading the neurons in the bees' brains. Don't ask how they did that, and the neurons associated with learning were lit up like the 4th of July. To be clear, they have no idea what that means, just that it's unusual of honeybees. There is speculation that it may be a thermometer of sorts, so the bees can regulate the heat without killing themselves. This is unique to the Japanese honeybee. The European honeybee has grown no defense. With no defense, the hornet wreaks havoc. Just a few hornets can murder a 30,000-strong bee colony in a matter of a few hours. Whatever protection the Japanese bee has developed against this terrifying creature, let's hope the rest pick up on it soon. Number 6. The Mongoose and the Cobra Very few animals would challenge a cobra. They are one of the most venomous snakes on Earth. A single bite could kill a human in less than 30 minutes. They're ruthless and aggressive and can grow up to 7 feet in length. It's not a snake, it's a force to be reckoned with. On the other hand, the mongoose is kind of cute. It's also fast, real fast. Just check out some of this footage. It's practically toying with the cobra in many of those shots. It walks up, takes a little nibble, sees how it tastes, and as the snake launches itself, the mongoose is back in a flash. I could watch this all day. Despite its adorable look, the mongoose is a fierce predator. Even some of the most daring of snakes won't stand a chance against this furry little fella thanks to its lightning reflexes. Snakes are fast, but not often accurate. Their whipping motions also leave them vulnerable to attack. The mongoose uses this to its advantage. It gets right in the snake's face and makes a miss, tiring him out. Once the moment presents itself, the mongoose strikes. When a mongoose strikes, it doesn't miss. Calculate it. It also likes to whip them against the ground, you know, for good measure. Okay, I'm gonna watch this one more time. Number 5. Slave Making Ants The fact that there are ants like this out there gives me the heebie-jeebies about what other monsters will spawn from seemingly nowhere. Slave-making ants are as deceitful as is disturbing. These ants are capable of assassination, taking the place of a former queen and tricking the remaining colony into raising the next generation of slave-making ants. Let's get you the scenario. The slave maker, a blood-red ant, finds a colony suitable for their evil plot. In a unique gland located in a slave ant body, it's capable of releasing gas. This gas renders the guard ants defenseless, almost in a daze-like state. Now the slave ant makes its move. It sneaks into the throne room, finds the queen, and due to the dazed guard ants, they're utterly unaware of the assassin who just walked through the door. The slave ant strikes and kills the queen. It's like something out of Game of Thrones. The story isn't over just yet, however. Now the slave ant starts to lick the wounds of the dead ant, covering itself in the dead queen's fluids. The assassin has just assumed the role of the queen. Ants identify other ants, as friend or foe, by the hydrocarbons on their skin. They rub their antenna across one another, and it's just as identifying as a name. By rubbing itself with the fluids of the deceased queen, the hydrogen carbon signature now says she is the queen, and always has been. Under the usurper rule, the peaceful colony returns to work. Only this time, 
at her bidding. They raise her new brood of next-generation slave ants. They clean and feed her. They treat her like royalty, all the while never knowing the colony was doomed. The science community has long wondered how this behavior evolved. The most recent bit of evidence points that the ants weren't ants from the beginning. They started as parasites and evolved into the ant that we know today. Number 4. Polar Bear and Walrus Colony Polar bears are solitary hunters. They always have been. It can seem pretty silly to watch as a polar bear charges head first into a colony of walruses. Walruses are much larger than polar bears, so even the biggest polar bears would be unable to subdue a fresh adult walrus. Not to mention a walrus is formidable himself, and the bear dare not chase one into the ocean. Hope may seem lost for the polar bear in ever scoring himself a walrus meal, but that's where the savvy polar bear comes into play. Walrus are strong, elusive creatures in the water, but they have to go on land to rest. A polar bear knows that if he bullies the walruses enough, maybe a sick or weaker or slower one will begin to reveal himself. The polar bear is relentless now that it's exhausting the colony. Eventually, the polar bear can get its kill. Now that isn't to say every so often a walrus doesn't stand his own ground. If that's the case, you can bet the polar bear has a fight on his hands, especially if it's protecting pups. When a walrus fights, it fights with maximum damage on the mind. Oftentimes, polar bears are killed when facing an enraged walrus. All in all, it's a pretty even match. If all the walruses stand their ground, well, no more hunting walruses for the bears. Number 3. The Bear and the Wolf a pack of wolves or a bear? It's hard to guess a victor here. A battle-hardened grizzly can weigh over 600 pounds. A pack of wolves can be of any number. Wolves aren't small themselves. Depending on which we're speaking of, some can grow to be as large as lions. A pack of those behemoths might have the upper hand on a grizzly, but not by much. Grizzlies are fast, powerful, and could rip open a wolf with one swipe of its claw if it catches one. The key here is that wolves hunt in packs for a reason. A single wolf versus a bear? No contest. The bear has wolf streaks for dinner. Number 1. Kangaroo Boxing Ever seen two kangaroos in a boxing match? <laughs> well, you're welcome. These remarkable animals are famous worldwide. There isn't a place on the planet you can find a person who doesn't know what a kangaroo is. I've checked. Their fame isn't just in the cute-looking, baby-carrying pouch thing either. I've seen more kangaroos with boxing gloves on their hands than that of any other animal mascot. It's literally everywhere. There's also that one video of the guy who runs up and tries to box one. Because of their long, muscular tail and legs, they have excellent balance and are well-suited for the fighting style. There are two types of fighting kangaroos boxing in competition, and boxing with all its strength when it feels threatened. Those punches pack a wallop. For good measure, they have razor-sharp claws. Though it may be cute, it be deadly. The animal kingdom has some wild wars waging, some right beneath your feet. With all this circle of life, it's good to remember that we may never fully understand our world. Our role, the roles of the animals, are subject to what can be summed up as the spinning of the wheel. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to get all the lit content right to your inbox.